The setting of time and date is made uh, with means of a rotary encoder, which I preferred over the push button, even though the coding is a little bit more complicated, but uh, it is easy to install and uh, it looks nicer and different than the rest. This clock is built around an Arduino Nano because it is smaller than Uno and it features a 20x4 ROS LCD, a BME 280 temperature, humidity and pressure module, a real-time clock 3231 and a photoresistor. As you can see, I use some custom characters to display a big font to easily read the time and it is able to display the interior temperature and humidity, the pressure and the exterior temperature and humidity. The photoresistor enables you to auto-adjust the brightness of the screen according to ambient light and this is done uh, by connecting the backlight of the LCD to a uh, pin of the Arduino which then in turn powers the backlight with the PWM power with modulation. The construction started by connecting the parallel LCD to the Arduino not using that fancy I2C 2-wire interface then testing the LCD and adjusting the brightness and testing also the backlighting with PWM then I connected the interior temperature sensor to the I2C bus and the whole prototype was tested on the bench and uh, as soon as it was uh, working all right I began connecting the exterior temperature sensor I know it would have been fancier to make a uh, wireless exterior uh, temperature sensor but I preferred this compromise because um, it was easier to build and I couldn't find any cheap solution for a wireless exterior sensor. The main concern it was uh, the length of the cable because I had to see a bus uh, is not designed for a longer cable but to my surprise it worked very well with this flat telephone cable which is around 10 meters long. Now it was time to find a suitable case and stuff it all in. Because the Arduino's USB connector was too close to the edge, I had to trim and shave a little bit of plastic of this connector. And there it is, the final assembly, the rotary encoder, the real-time clock, the interior temperature humidity sensor, the RJ11 telephone connector for the exterior sensor. Now some technicalities. The BME280 weather sensor has an uh, I2C interface address 
0x76 but because we are using two of these sensors one of them has to be modified in order to have the address 0x77 for this you need to scratch with a sharp object with a sharp tip this trace on the board you need to solder together the remaining two pads these are the libraries I used for the real-time clock and the weather sensors because Arduino only accepts eight custom characters I had to design uh, in Excel some uh, custom fonts for my clock I also used Excel spreadsheet to design the intro screen and the screen layout the electric diagram This is the entire collection of weather clocks that I have in the house right now. The doctor said I will be fine as long as I keep taking my pills. This is a clock that I made a few years ago and I gave it to a good friend of mine. And this is another weather clock that I had and I gave it to one of my colleagues.